Hello, everyone, and welcome to Scene Time with me, Emma T. When I say Emma, you say T. Emma T. Emma T. And I have a wonderful guest with me today, uh, with me today, who will introduce themselves now. Oh, hi, everybody. I'm Rick Horner. I'm super excited to be here with you. And uh, I have the joy of getting to do improv in a lot of different spaces, some in real life and some online uh, with a bunch of amazing people. I do some duos. I do some groups. I play with Vintage. Uh, I play with Queen City. Um, uh, yeah, I, I, it's, it's amazing. In real life, I get to play with a group called Bright Invention. So uh, it's all kinds of amazing things. Oh, brilliant. Uh, fantastic. So we've got, um, I've gone to canigetter.com and I'm going to generate a word for us now, Rick, to start our scene. All right. Um, and that word is Olympics. 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 Thank you, Olympics. Hey, Lisa. Hi, Jay. Already here and doing stretching, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, I thought I'd come in a little early, get the extra stretching done so that I'm fully flexible and ready to go. That's good. I stayed at home and I did some failure preparation. Uh, that way, if I lose, I still win. Hang on, we're on the same team. You mean if you lose, you're planning on losing? Joe? Well, I'm not exactly planning on losing, but I mean, it's the lose, right? It's a timed event. I mean, anybody can win or lose. I just don't want to feel bad about it. <laughs> no, no, you should feel bad about it. I mean, if if we don't win, then we won't get our medals and... I'm planning for, well, since it's a relay race, your medal is my medal, and gold is what I'm aiming for. Yeah, I still wear the gold medal from four years ago. <laughs> I, I don't even know what to do with this. I don't want to take it off. That feels, like, disrespectful, but I don't know where to put it. Where would I put it in my house? I don't know what to do with this thing. I don't want any more. I don't want any more. Look, this medal means everything to me. I have been wearing this medal all the time because I like to show it off. I go for I go for dinner. I I say, hey, um, can you get me the best seat? Look at me. I'm an Olympic gold medal winner. And they just give me the best seat. Imagine what would happen if I had two of them. Come on, Joe. I don't want that for you, Lisa. That's the way you act when you're in public. No, I don't want oh. that for you. You don't want people to respect you and, and care about you just because of who you are. You have to lead with this, you know, I'm an Olympic medal winner. Yeah, but that is who I am. I'm an Olympic medal winner. And, you know, now we've already had gold from four years ago. I mean, anything less than that is, well, it's a failure. Even a silver is going to be a failure. We're going to have to get gold. Look, maybe maybe I'm not the person that should be in the luge this year. You know, maybe just go for three instead of going for four people. No, no you are part of this team, Joe. We were selected. We were selected because we were the best. We were selected because we can run faster than anybody else. We were selected for the glory of our country. That's all the that's all the hype that they pump into us to get us fired up. The the actual real thing about it is we're not really that different from anybody else. We're not we're not better than the people that live next door to us or or more important than our parents were because we have some sort of legacy or smarter or or prettier. I am all of those things, Joe. I'm I'm definitely better than David who lives next door to me. I mean what has he ever achieved? He has no medals whatsoever. Just goes out to work in an accountancy firm and never, never gets to experience that sweet, sweet feeling of being first and having gold, gold 
Old. Old. I'm so sad for you right now, Lisa. I, this, I want more for you than this. Look, I, I'm, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna tell them that I quit. I, I'm not, I'm not gonna lose. I can't, I can't lose like this. I can't lose thinking that I'll win. I can only lose, lose. No. 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 If you, if you quit, if you quit, Joe, then I'm quitting too. Well, and that means I won't get my gold medal and I'll spend the rest of my life being a failure and unhappy. It feels like a huge leap. I mean, you could also look at it as you have a gold medal that nobody else will ever be able to take away from you and that it was the last time you ever did the sport. So you went out on top, you know, that's the way to look at it, I think. Now you say that, Joe, I think uh, if I try and I fail this time, it's it's going to be worse. It's going to be worse than where I am right now because I've got that gold medal right now. I, I was on top. We were on top four years ago. And unless I can 100% guarantee a gold medal this time, then anything less is a, is a failure. Is that you? Is that you talking? You really got to me, Joe. Got to me. Well, is that somebody else talking? Is that your parents talking? Is that the U.S. Olympic Committee that says you can only win talking? Your neighbor, David, has kids and a family and a house. You live in an apartment building next to him. What if you had someone special? What if, what if you had kids? What if you had your own place? Those are all okay things to want. Not that you're less for living in an apartment building. I'm not saying that either. No, I, I know, Joe, but it's just you speak such... Harsh truths. Oh, okay. Yep, we're ready. All right, let's just do a test luge for now. <clears throat> let's see what your mindset's like. Oh. 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 Woo. Hey, look, see, check it out. Our worst time ever. That's a failure time. Yeah. That's a failure time, Joe. And I don't feel bad. <laughs> I don't feel bad about it. Yeah. Just absolutely failed. That's, that's not even in the in the top one hundred. In the that's not even. I mean. We'll see you guys later. Yeah, we're part of a team. If the team fails, it's not an individual failure. That's the way I look at it, you know? This this team failed. Team USA failed. Tell you what, let's let's go for it. And if I fail, I I'm not gonna care. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. One more practice run, just the two of us. No, we're gonna go by ourselves. Let's just see what happens if it's just the two of us. All right, we'll just change up the dynamic a little bit. All right, here we go. All right, go ahead. That's that's actually. A that's actually a pretty decent time. Isn't it though? That's it's proper gold medal type time. That that's They're calling us up for the for real. Come on. Let's do I, this. I, I mean I, I was I was thinking what, what, what do you want to try it with just the two of us? We'll tell maybe the other ones were slowing us down. Yeah. 
I, th I think so. Just, just quick, they're over there. Uh, I'll distract them. <laughs> Meet me at the top of the hill. <laughs> you guys go that way. <sighs> All right, Lisa, I got the luge. Here we go. Okay. There's the noise. Let's go. Oh, the time, the time we come second. Seconds failing. Seconds failing, but that's still good, right? Maybe, maybe we can get one of each. <laughs> A gold Thank medal. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Gold medal, silver medal. Thinking... I still don't know what to do with this. <laughs> do I wear it inside my shirt, or I mean, it feels now I feel bulky. I feel like I should wear it outside my shirt. Tell you what, in four years' time, we'll try and get a bronze as well. The full set. Oh, we know we broke the rules. Thank you for letting us know. We, we know it's supposed to be a full contingent of losers. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for your rules. <laughs> uh, let's just say I'm definitely not going to give this medal back. <laughs> yeah. And, uh... and hey, um, listen, what I said before, um, I don't want you to want something that you don't want. I don't want to be one of those other voices in your head and tell you you need to live in a house with a significant other and have children to be something that you're not. You're you're great just the way you are. I guess maybe I was listening to a voice that was pushing me on, you know? Well, let's just use these medals to get ourselves into a restaurant. We'll talk about it later. Sounds good. And see. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Hey, thank you so much, Rick. That was amazing. <laughs> was super fun. I like that we both knew it was the end. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I like that. I was trying to work out which way I'm going on Zoom. I have to watch it back and see if we're going in opposite direction in the same way. But that, that was that was great. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for being my guest today. I just have one question I asked all of my guests, which is yeah. what do you love about improv? I love being on a journey with other people doing improv. Uh, we all notice the places that we're at and we all uh, honor and respect the place where each other's at. And I love when people are like patient with somebody that it feels like they're feeling a little overwhelmed or a little behind. I love that we make room for people that don't maybe really get exactly the chance to express themselves or maybe they're marginalized in some way even if it's by themselves they feel like they're not good enough and they don't have confidence yet uh and also people that are just fierce and and powerful and just have so much agency and, and make us look good i just i love the combination of all of those things and uh I just feel so fortunate to be a part of that community oh this is a wonderful community thank you so much rick for being my guest today and uh goodbye everyone uh for, thank you for watching at home and uh see you all soon bye everyone bye <laughs>